enemies down. Hey, you! The fuck are you doing to my Seva? Die, bitch! Alright, you're dead. What is this? Alright, we've got a place to sleep. Um... I'll make some steel beds, I guess. Why not? Um, I guess we can deconstruct... Huh. Alright, let's see. We need to rescue you. Uh, Vex, um, buddy. Uh, I need you to go rip out all of those down there. I know you're, I know you're tired, but you gotta go do this. A paramedic named Connor the Nose Oliver calls you from nearby. He is being chased by the pirates from the Tomahawks. He begs for safety. Uh, do I want a paramedic and have another medical person? Oh, I guess let's try it. But I'm right—I'm right in the middle of managing Vex over here. I'm trying to micro Vex. I don't. Of course, he runs right through the friggin' bug cave, but it's not a bug cave anymore. He's a too smart optimist. Ooh. Ooh, I got a good guy here. Uh All right, buddy. Um yeah, run for it. He's not a fighter at all, but that's okay. All right, let's see what's after him. That's what's important. Yeah. Yeah, here they come. They're chasing him. Oh man, they're right on his tail. Alright, let's form up. Um, I don't... Uh, fuck, I need to micro... I need to micro two different places at once. This fucking sucks. Where is she going? Did she just wake up on her own? Is she just leaving? Can this be a prison? I would really like you to join me. I came all the way out here to rescue you. Architect, structure, door, steel? Will you prioritize making the steel door? Alright, and then I've got to like... Okay, so Mattis is not really great at fighting. So who are my best fighters? So you... Well, I've got some I've got some melee people. But I'm really gonna... I feel like I'm really gonna be relying on... Uh, I mean, I guess all these people, basically. Probably not Annabelle. She's a medic. Well, no, I've already got a medic now, huh? Alright, wake up, guys. You've got some work to do. Come on over here. And now is definitely not the time for my uh, turrets to be fluctuating on power, huh? Alright, so James, I want you here. Uh, Dietrich, I want you here. Annabelle, get in the corner. You in the corner. Um, Amen, I want you here, and Tiri, I want you... Actually, I want Amen here, and Tiri, I want you here, I think. There we go. This, is a, this seems like a pretty good defensible location here. Meanwhile, Vex is 
Did you get that maid? Okay, that's for prisoners now, and I need you to try to arrest her. Can you catch up with her? Good. Alright, Dietrich has been shot. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have him fall back. You to go over there. Are they running? Alright guys, it's up to the melee people. Chase him down. Get him! Get him, get him, get him! Alright, he's just dead, I guess. Well, we've got some brand new shotguns. Look at that. Alright, I think you're all free to resume your business. Uh, this defensive location is great. That worked fantastic. Oh, I'd like to recruit them. Oh well. Alright, let's capture her. And we are going to recruit you. You must join me. Uh, Vex, you're going to have to sleep on the floor, I suppose. most of this place. And Vex, I need you to make a How you doing, buddy? You're fine. How's she doing? Oh, she's bleeding out. Will you please tend to her? Uh, is it okay if I make, like, a stockpile zone here? There we go. I'm sorry, but your, your cell is going to have to, uh... Will you join me? Please? Please join? Yeah, look, look at him go. The roof collapsed. Oh, gross. Uh, how about don't... Don't take that out claim it, actually. It's holding up the roof there. Son of a bitch. I think I just lost some uh, components or something. Oh well. I think we're still going to have too many to, uh, to take back, is the problem. Uh, Vex, will you prioritize hauling that? Hauling that. I'm just going to casually leave a, a rifle right next to the prisoner. I'm sure that'll turn out just fine. So I've got uh, a 50 watt power draw from what? Just the lamp? Vex is just going to sleep in there with her. I mean, why not, right? Beats being outside. So how is this place doing? Is everybody okay? Everybody seems fine. We do have a trader here. Let's go talk to them. Would you like to buy some of my alpaca wool? Would you like to? I've got a lot of it. Oh, they would. 
Um, what else would you would you like to sell anything? A grand granite royal bed, normal. Meh. Meh. Steel advanced helmet. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Devil Strand T-shirt. Eh, I don't know. Scent Thread Button-Down T-shirt. A simple T-shirt. Does the Button-Down T-shirt give you a little bit of a bonus to uh, Snow Hair Leather Pants? Um... I guess I will buy some of this stuff, because it's, uh, faster than crafting it myself. I mean, I'm basically turning wool... I'm basically turning wool into clothing here. And I've got so much wool, so I'm gonna get rid of some of it. Alright, that looks good. Maybe it'll make that tattered apparel thing go away. So how are we doing on power? Connected rate, 55 watts. We're only using 55 watts right now? That doesn't seem right. I'm so confused. Are these, like, not connected or what? So they're connected here. Uh, that's connected. I'm a little confused. It's almost acting like I don't have... I'm going to do an experiment. I'm actually going to deconstruct the... that power cable right there to cut off those uh, solar panels. I'm just going to see if it turns off my entire base. No? Okay. So how do I tell connects rate is 35 watts? That cannot be right. Uh, like all these other things are using I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. There was a slight power flicker right there. Do these things not always draw electricity? Is that it? I thought I thought anything that needed electricity always drew electricity. is what I was under the impression of. Kind of confused. And Mr. Panther here is being a butthole. I don't like Mr. Panther. Mr. Panther's a butthole. So Mr. Panther is going to need to get shot in the face. Is that right, Mr. Panther? Yeah, that's right. You get shot in the face. You're being a Mr. Butthole. Alright, guys. Uh, will you please shoot the fuck out of Mr. Panther? Uh, preferably hitting Mr. Panther would be nice. There you go. Excellent shooting. That was sarcasm. That was pretty shit shooting. Like, it got the job done, but only just. So did she put on... I was kind of surprised she didn't put on some clothing. She's just going to go put on the power armor. Well, at least she's not, uh... At least she's not naked now, so that's good. Um... 
So you've got packaged survival meals. Is she just leaving? She's just wandering off. Is it because the door was held open? Hey, no. I appreciate it, but you need to stay in here, sweetie. If that's okay. Yes. I like how she's not picking up the weapon. I do have a 15% chance to recruit her, so I should recruit her fairly soon. Uh, in the meantime, let's see here. Um, I've got some blocks. I do have some building blocks. Uh, I do kind of want to mine also the uh, these components here. I want to take those with me. Um, what else? We've got some power. What can we run off this? We could run furniture. You know what I'm really surprised is not in this game is a butchering spot. I think I think one is going to be added in 1.0, but it's kind of stupid that uh, there's not a butchering spot. <clears throat> you have to actually build a butchering table, which makes like camping really weird and dumb and stupid. Um, I guess I'll build something here. I'll just keep it on the side. Uh, and then I guess I'll make a a fueled stove to not use the components and I'll just cut down some logs and then we'll architect orders roof area uh, structure, no, zone, roof area we'll make a roof area here because there's that thing and I don't know why delete zone I don't know why that was the door was being held open there and Vex is asleep. Will you wake up and finish your shit? How dare you sleep! Would you at least sleep indoors? Seva is really polite, by the way. Like, there's a rifle on the floor and I'm asleep. Like, she could just pick it up and shoot me in the face in my sleep, but she's not. She's really polite. See, I had a good feeling about her. So I have The Nose. He's a paramedic. That's a derpy-ass name. That is a really derpy-ass name. Can we just call him, like, Connor or something? Can it just be Connor? Oh! I recruited her! Kick ass! Alright, this doesn't have to be for prisoners anymore. We can actually sleep in here. In fact, we can pretty much leave now. Um, yeah, we can pretty much leave now. Let's uh, break this all down into parts. Pretty much deconstruct everything and take as much as we can with us. No, wait! Uh, 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 cancel deconstruction of that. Oh, I'm glad I caught that. That would have been bad. Uh, we can make a stockpile zone here. Right, meow. In the shade. And pull our, put all our crap in there. And then we can see what we can take out with us. Um, thankfully, we've got more... Mm, I don't know, say, like, space now. Do I want to make a butchering table and hunt some animals real quick? I think I do. Uh, production, butchering table, uh, their fueled stove. Where's the fueled stove? There it is. Uh, their furniture. I may as well make a steel stool because... Or I'll make a granite one because we're sure as hell not taking any granite blocks with us. I may as well build a copy of the steel bed here because uh, we are not taking all the steel with us. We just can't carry that much, period. What kind of beds did you make, dude? Okay. Alright, bills. We are going to make simple meals. Uh, we're going to make like a hundred of them. Uh, can you please finish that? Oh, you don't have enough wood. Well, shit, 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 shit. Uh, that should be enough. Alright. Oh, a text- oh, a textile trader! Yes! Uh, jump, 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 jump. Um, oh, but damn. 
Oh, uh, we've, we've already ended up selling all of our, our stuff already. Well, let's still have a look at them and see. So yeah, 11,751... Uh, um, silver there. So, I can sell off all of my random skins and stuff. So, I wished I had a, a whole warehouse full. I could sell it off. That would be great. But I don't. But I will in the future. We'll get some cash crops going. Uh, exotic goods trader. Oh, let's have a look at him. Alright, let's see. Um... I think I've got a, enough neutro, uh, neutro amine right now. Selling Glitter World Medicine, selling Uranium. Nope, nope, doesn't have any. Never mind. I misread that. Uh, I could really use some prosthetic eyes. Because some of my people have, are in rough shape with that. It's a mega screen television. That'd be nice to have. Um... I don't know. Uh, should I sell anything? I'm gonna sell this boar. I, I it's just a random, random boar running around. I don't really need it. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? Like components. I can, I'll sell the meals. Why not? We'll just make more and make some money. There we go. All right, let's go look at these guys. Um. All right, so we got the butchering table. We're gonna butcher creatures forever. And then, what's her job? She's a blacksmith. Uh, I'll put her on like doing anything else, just to make sure she's doing stuff. So she is a 23-year-old. Let's look at her character some more. A 23-year-old blacksmith. She was a test subject. On the most corrupt urban world, scientists without a moral compass commit unspeakable atrocities in the name of research. Seva was kept alone in a sealed facility from birth and subjected to a variety of behavioral experiments in an attempt to turn her into a perfect super soldier. She won't doctor, she won't warden, and she won't firefight. Well, that kind of sucks. As a smith on a medieval world, Seva gained a reputation for the high quality of her work. She wasn't bad at using the sword she forged either. So she picks up plus four shooting, and then she loses minus five shooting. While disabling research and certain types of crafting. So her background just completely fucked up her ability to craft, like... She's incapable of caring, social, intellectual, or firefighting. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Firefighting, doctoring, awarding, and then she won't produce drugs. She won't research. She's a trigger happy prosthophobe fast walker. Um, if nothing else, I can use her to just haul and clean. Um, and she's got a passion for melee. Which doesn't use her trigger happy trait. Um, she's already got power armor. I could throw on, like, give her a melee weapon, and then... How's her health? Oh, she's got no injuries. Well, I mean... She can haul stuff. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see here. Uh, how about you hunt that, Bex? Oh, she's going to hunt it. She's just going to beat it to death with her bare hands. Well then. Why not? Now let me take a look at her combat log. How did she do? She just beat an emu to death. That was pretty hardcore. Not bad. Hunt these rats. Hey, wake up. Uh, hunting. Fight! I command you to fight! Rat revenge. 
Incapacitated, incapacitated refugee opportunity. Silver, a barkeep, a contact you on the radio. A barkeep? So probably good at social? Oh! Well then, they're on the way, they're literally on the way back. <sighs> okay. So the thing is, uh, Vex, you need to be butchering animals. Can you butcher some animals, buddy? How are we doing on the cooking? A trade ship is passing by. It's a pirate merchant. Okay. What is Vex doing? <clears throat> He's tending her. Yeah, fine. He's feeding her raw rat? Would you please butcher stuff? Please. There you go. Now, okay. There we go. Now we're working. Now we're working. Fantastic. Great. Okay. And now, now he's cleaning. Now what's he doing? He's cloud watching. Well, I want you to hunt that. You need at least, like, I'd say maybe ten simple meals before we head out. I would like that, if you can. And we have an infection. Ah, oh, shit, she's infected. What is it? How bad is it? Ew, it's ticking up really fast. Why is it ticking up so fast? And her right leg? Like, damn, it's ticking up fast. Is there anything I could do to, like, help that? Um... Let's see here. Is there any heal root on this map at all? No? Really? And how many packaged survival meals do you have left, Vex? Oh, you've got herbal, herbal medicine still on you. Then do I... Okay, here's a question. Do I wait for this infection or do I just leave now and try to get back... Alright, so she's at 13, 17, 15, 18. Is she outrunning it? I think she's outrunning it. 16, 19. Um, Vex, you need to butcher more stuff, please. Uh, let's see. What's on this map I can hunt? Uh, there's a there's a turkey. Go hunt the turkey. Excellent. And there's a rat. Go hunt the rat. And there's some... a turtle. You can go hunt the turtle. Oh, don't hunt... Well, we're gonna leave the capybaras alone. If possible. In a survival situation, I... if I have to... if I have to do what I have to do, then... I really don't want to hunt the boomalopes, because they'll blow up in my face. Literally. Blow up in my face. And we're going to cut down the home area because he's, like, wasting time cleaning it. And I guess I should arm her. Alright, let's see how the main colony's doing. They're fine. Alright. Oh, Vex, wake up. Treat her. There you go. How'd you do? Can I see the treatment quality? Wow, look at that one-sided relationship. 100 to 0. That's kind of strange. Alright, how's she doing? Uh, 5543. Okay, I think she's outrunning it. Ooh. 
Alright, we should have enough food to last us a while, so I'm pretty much ready to leave as soon as she gets over the sickness. I don't want to travel with her being sick. That seems like a dumb thing to do. And I know the other incapacitated person thing is ticking down. Um, there is no heal route at all on this map. I don't believe. Let's see. Architect orders harvest. I'm just going to drag it around, see if there's any, like, I had my eyes missed. But I'm pretty sure no. Yeah, not a single one on this entire map. Damn it. Bulk good, ooh, a bulk goods trader. Um, Mattis, I want you to talk to them for me. What we got? Turkeys. Okay, no, 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 I don't want any of that. Bulls and cows. Look at that. Interesting. A very common domestic animal. Yeah, no, it's not, because I hardly ever see them. I see muffaloes very commonly, but not cows. Do I want to buy a cow? <laughs> one bull and one cow, maybe? Why not? We'll give it a try. Um, I guess I'll sell off the simple meals, because that's like a hundred right there, just for that. And Ooh, components. Uh, sell off some chem fuel. Uh, could sell off some corn, too. And some berries. Uh, sell off some wool. Oh, we got the chill music, too. Oh, uranium! Buy all uranium. Always buy uranium. Uh, can probably sell off the sandstone. We're using all granite now, pretty much. Um, and... I think I might have to sell off more, more food. Which is fine. Uh, I'm making tons of food. And we're still kind of... Hmm. What else could I sell? I could just not buy the cows. I, I've never had them before. I just, I just, I've never had the cows before. So I actually kind of want to see how they are. Um, I guess we'll just take a loss on this trade. Oh, look! Cows! The milk fullness fills up pretty quickly. Alright, so we'll let the cows, I guess, go out in the... With the other animals... We'll let them pop off into the grazing lands. Off you go. Oh, actually, the thing is, even if I sell all of the food that's listed from the orbital beacon, it doesn't hit the entirety of my fridge. So no matter what I do, I've got this little reserve of food in the corner here. So even if I was stupid and sold all of my food, I've basically protected myself from that by leaving some in the corner. Let's check in on Seva's uh, infection again. Okay, she's in, she's well in the clear now. All right, she is indeed ahead of it. She's at ninety percent immunity, and we could probably just start leaving now. Then, um, when does it need tending again? Yeah, yeah. Okay, she's we're good. Um, let's tear this down. Let's go get these components here before we leave. And is there anything else to hunt? Where's is, where's is Vex? He's watching the sunset. Dude! Like, I mean... Dude, dude, dude. Come on. Alright, uh, oh, there we go. There's a boar. Vex, go get the boar, turn it into simple meals, and let's get the hell out of here. Alright. One, two... Get the hell up and cook. Alright, that should tie you guys for a while. Alright, let's go. Um, I think I'm going to have more than enough weight, so I don't even know. I mean, I guess I'll tear these down. Would you please deconstruct these buildings? What? God damn it, Vex. All you do is just sleep. You're so lazy. Re! Lazy re! Okay, fine. Get a little bit of sleep. We'll leave in the morning. Exotic goods trader. Ooh. Uh, 
Do you have any eyes? Bionic spine, surrogate lung, brain stimulator. No. Do you have any uranium? No. Okay. Oh my god, they've got polar bears. Polar bears are where it's at. Polar bears, yes. Yes, we were by the polar bears for sure. Oh yes. Oh yes, polar bears. Yes! Polar bears are the best animals in the game. They eat vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, animal products, meals, processed foods, liquor, they'll eat liquor, and kibble. Um, so you can pretty much let them just go out in the, in the field, and they'll hunt on their own, they'll take care of themselves, they're very low maintenance, they can rescue, they can haul, and they can, oh, they can fight. A polar bear is a badass critter. Um... I I lived in my in my other playthrough of this game, the one where I won and made it off the planet. I had a bad encounter with an arm a small army of mechanoids. It was about ten of the fucking things, and they had inferno cannons and Gatling. It was it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. I lost about five colonists in that fight, and the only reason I didn't just lose everybody is because I had one colonist with a sword and a shield belt and about 15 polar bears following her. And I was like, ball up and wait around the corner and then run around the corner all at once with 15 polar bears and the shield belt sword wielding colonist and attack. And they killed a bunch of the mechanoids for me. I still lost a lot of people. Like, it was a fucking hard fight. But the polar bears are the only reason I just didn't lose my entire colony. Because they're, they're badasses. Um, so we will immediately begin training these guys up for full, every, just everything. Um, let's sort by only polar bears. Boom, 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 boom. So they are, they are great. And they also carry a lot of weight, too, is the cool thing. Alright, uh, let's go check in with these guys. It's almost dawn. Uh, let's go. Um, reform. So I want you guys to take the simple meals and the components. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, maybe this hat. And uh, what else? We could take some pork. It's raw. I don't know. And I'm not even going to bother taking... I can't take the steel. It's just too heavy. That sucks, too, to leave a thousand steel right there. I wish I had some muffalos with me, but... It's whatever. Um, boom. Alright, we did get... Uh, we did end up with... Uh, let's see. Six... Uh, 20, 29 components? That's pretty good. Alright, let's go check out this incapacitated refugee, because I, if I go back to here... Yeah, it's literally right next to the path back, so no worries there. So we'll leave at dawn, and they'll head out at 6 when... Yeah, they're starting to move now. Alright, outstanding. <clears throat> and I feel like... I wish these boomalopes would go away from the front of my base. It's just making me really nervous that they're there. But I'm going to hunt some animals to stock up our, our food. Because um, I believe the uh, the package survival meals specifically require Can you make these all vegetarian? It requires oh it, no it requires very vegetarian and then any ingredients So I'm just gonna let it like run off anything like whatever just throw it in there um, What's it not using eggs? and insect jelly. And what else? Meat? Insect meat? I don't care. I don't care about that. Just use whatever. I mean, I wouldn't want to have like human meat in there. But I'm not going to I'm not I'm not going to end up ever having human meat. I'm not going to buy it. 
And if it drops out of a cargo pod, I'm not going to go pick it up, so it's fine to just leave that like that. Um, Alright, cool. How is Vex and uh, Seva doing? Seva's a pretty name. Alright, so they are 1.7 days to their destination. So they've got plenty of food to make it over there. Um, we'll probably have to camp again, somewhere around here, I'd imagine. And stock up on our simple meals again, and then head out again. Unless Vex would like to use his growing skill to get some... I, I apparently, like, maybe according to their, um, their growing skill, supposedly they can forage while they're out. And his growing skill is a 10. He's a skilled professional, so... I, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that happen, maybe? I'm not sure. Does anybody know? Can you let me know in the comments if if you can like heart, like forage stuff while you're out traveling, if that actually does work? Supposedly, it, it says it on the wiki, wiki article for caravans on RimWorld that it does, but I don't know if... It, it's, it's like one sentence, and it doesn't go into any of the mechanics or anything like that, so I'm really curious to know what the exact mechanics of it are. What is that? An iguana? Well, we will hunt them. And they oh! 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 Oh, it's like a little pack of zerglings, huh? I don't think any individual iguana is very capable. But, you know, in a big group like that, they might be dangerous. Here they come! Should we rally the troops and meet them in the field? I think maybe Annabelle and... Uh, Myers are fine for this. Get out there, guys. So we will... We will... Wait for them to come to us, and we'll beat them... To, like, beat the crap out of them with our clubs. Yeah, this is working pretty well. Hey, careful with that shotgun, buddy. Ooh. So, how did that do? Yeah, Annabelle's almost blind. I feel really sorry for her. Well, we've got iguana meat now, I suppose. And I did want more meat. Uh, how are you guys doing? All right, guys, well, I'm going to stop uh, the episode here, and I'll see you next episode when we get to the place, and it's more interesting. Uh, remember to let me, if you know anything about the foraging mechanics during a caravan using the growing skill, if any, let me know in the comments about that. I'd really like to know. Until next time, as always, take it easy.